This is Dolan TV. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're back getting to Oilers coverage. And how about this? A third goaltending video within less than, well, uh, about 17 hours. That's when it's been since we last uh, figured out what's going on with Mike Smith and the LTIR situation. And I'm sorry to anyone that keeps sitting here. Mike Smith's going to retire while he's on LTIR. I, I have yet to see anything official or anybody actual insider opinion say that, so uh, keep that in mind, please. And with that, I uh, turn it over to Chris Johnson once again, solving the Oilers' goaltending problems here. But before that, if you're new to the channel and you want to get all your information for today's Oilers game versus the Montreal Canadiens, maybe you want to consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around, or maybe just sticking around to find out how Goaltender Troy Grosnick does for the Oilers. He has been claimed off of waivers from the Los Angeles Kings. Now, Grosnick is an interesting player. We'll get to that in mere moments. But as part of the transaction rules, according to Puckpedia, claiming a player on waivers allows him to be put non-roster through the quarantine period. This means he does not count towards the 23 active player limit, but does count against the cap. So there you go. The plan is, for now... Until about the 28th or 29th, maybe even the 30th, Stuart Skinner will be the backup in Edmonton. Fair? And I see no problem with that. I see absolutely no issue as to why Stuart Skinner should not be the backup for the Edmonton Oilers when he'll play maximum one or two games. I'm not sitting here saying give the crease to Skinner. I'm saying he's there if you need him. But Miko Koskinen's got this no problem. All right, if Koskinen delivers that brilliant performance on the back half of a back-to-back -to, -back to open the season after not playing games since first week of August, I think you can trust Miko Koskinen with a couple of games in a month, right? We're talking all the way until about the 28th, 29th, 30th. That's not that long from now. Guys, we went 160 days without hockey. 14 days of hockey is not going to kill us to not have Mike Smith, okay? I mean, I, I still don't get why Oilers fans are panicking in the streets at times that Mike Smith is gone and, oh my goodness, we're doomed when everybody all offseason that commented on Dolan TV just kept saying, Mike Smith's garbage, we need to get rid of him. You know what? If you want to talk about upgrading, well, guess what? Upgrading comes from building within the system, and that's what Stuart Skinner is. So you know what? If we see him deliver a good performance in a game or two, that's how the Oilers are upgrading. And that's not just upgrading for tomorrow. That's upgrading for long term. All right. So, Mr. Troy Grosnick, what do you need to know about him? Well, he had a brilliant NHL debut Two games played, a 152 goals against average and a 948 save percentage with a shutout and a 1-1 one one record in that first appearance with the San Jose Sharks back in 2014-15. He has not seen NHL time since. He played with the Nashville Predators. I guess he might have ridden the bench for a game. Same with San Jose in 17-18. But he has been in the minors pretty much since, and that... Uh, record at the AHL level, if I can get it for you, 132 wins, 83 losses, 33 overtime shootout losses, a 912 save percentage, and a 252 goals against average in 254 games played. He's a goaltender that's had some playoff experience in the AHL. So Troy Grosnick now becomes, well, I guess here's, here's how you rate it. Do you rate the guy with two games NHL experience? as your third string goaltender or do you rate Stuart Skinner as your third string goaltender? Here's the question. Realistically, I think Grosnick is the third string goaltender, although it's kind of reversed right now because Skinner's got to be the backup until Grosnick clears waiver protocol and quarantine protocol and all that and gets back into the lineup. And yeah, so he's a guy that, you know what, he's going to come in and hopefully solve a problem here for those couple of games. And Let's just see if I can find any more reaction. It looks like there's not much more reaction to it. Um, after losing Anton Forsberg on waivers and putting Mike Smith on LTI, I have claimed Troy Grosnick on waivers. So that's um, that's it. So there you go. Goaltending depth found. Look at that. The easiest possible solution. 
comes to pass. And that's what we're starting to see out of Ken Holland. And I mean, last night, everybody talking about signing Jimmy Howard or trading for this guy, trading for that guy. Why panic? This guy was available for free and he's had two NHL games, which is an infinite amount of games more than Stuart Skinner has played to this point of his NHL career. So for the Oilers tonight, well, we face the Montreal Canadiens. Miko Koskinen goes against Carey Price more than likely. And guess what? Guess who has the best goalie matchup head-to-head -head in this game, in my opinion? The Oilers have Miko Koskinen. The Montreal Canadiens have Carey Flounder in net against the Edmonton Oilers. Why do I say Flounder? Look up Carey Price's career stats against Connor McDavid and the Oilers. They are atrocious. So, do I like my odds? Yes, I do. Does that excuse the Oilers from playing a hard, complete game, guts, gutting it out if they have to, like they did against Vancouver the other night? No, it doesn't. So, you know what? Same script as you did game two against Vancouver. Get on the body. I don't care if you're McDavid. I don't care if you're Chieson. I don't care if you're Caleb Jones. Get on the body, grind it out, get to work, and score some goals, and stop some pucks. <laughs> Pretty simple script right there. So Troy Groznick, an Edmonton Oiler now, and I mean, the best part is, I believe, claiming on waivers, he can now be fully assigned to the taxi squad once past quarantine without having to do any more waivers. So... Right, there's finally at long last, I think we've solved the Edmonton Oilers goaltending issue, and realistically, it's not much of an issue at all, is this was Miko Koskinen's year to become the full-time starter in Edmonton, and now he's got the chance to do it. And I 100% got to believe he's going to take that opportunity and absolutely run with it. You've seen what happens when you hand Miko Koskinen the reins for four or five games in a row. There's about four wins in there usually, and some pretty good goaltending along the way as well. So I really look forward to that and seeing what Miko Koskinen can deliver while we wait for Troy Grosnick to get ready for us at the NHL level. Now, does Grosnick even play games this year? Probably not. You know what? Mike Smith returns. It goes back and forth a little bit, and away you go towards the playoff run. That's that's the way you got to see it because I don't think you're turning to a guy with two games NHL experience to be your solution in net. I, like I said, yeah, he's got infinite more games than Stuart Skinner, but he's not a guy you're going out there and saying, you know what, this is our guy, right? So Miko Koskinen is our guy at this point. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. I got to go wake up. I got to get a coffee in me, and we'll talk a little bit later this afternoon or this morning about Edmonton Oilers stuff ahead of Montreal at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. I am up on out of here.